Trusting his army had destroyed Theoden's people at Helm's Deep, Saruman believed himself secure in his tower of Orthanc. But the ringed walls of Isengard proved no defense against the vengeance of Ents and men. And within Saruman's pits, many wrathful Rohan prisoners awaited liberation. While his machineries belch foul vapors, above, Saruman directs his defense and marshals his sorcery, for the battle is far from certain. And now Ent and Rohirrim alike must face Saruman's wrath. Tortured our friends below! The entrance to their pits must be thrown open!
machine! There! In the heart of the pits! Many lives will be spared now that Saruman's machine is no more! Wormtongue carries the key to the Tower of Orthak! We must capture it for Treebeard! They cut easily, do they not? You are not welcome. You shall poison our king no more, worm. We come to silence your forked tongue. The traitor Worm Tongue is no more. Fight your way up to the surface. Carry the key to Treebeard. You have the key. Hurry it to Treebeard.
us knock them down. of the east stretch out to take you, Wildwood Demons! His power shattered, Saruman could not prevail against the courage that was arrayed against him, and in the end, his betrayal was avenged. Treebeard now serves as master of Orthon, and the pits of Isengard have been cleansed of Saruman's filth. 
But the Dark Lord's power has not been broken. For Saruman served merely as a pawn, a distraction to weaken Gondor's borders. Within Mordor, the armies of Sauron grow, and his war has hardly begun.